Are you ready to work on the CBTs? Do you know what CBTs are? Well, let's do it. Hey everyone, so as we prepare to work on our CBTs, you know those clear blue tiles? Did you know CBT also stands for computer-based training? <laughs> Just a little tidbit of information. Anyway, we are gonna start on our clear blue tiles. If you haven't already ordered these, our sponsor is My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop and our coupon code is Kristen Creates 10. There's no space in the middle. I believe it's just Kristen Creates 10 and they give it to me in caps, so um, you might try caps. Um, and in the video description underneath this video, there is a link directly to the tiles and the fabric kit if you choose to get a fabric kit. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is the fabric kit. So as we prepare for our project, we're going to wait like a week or two just to give time for everybody to get all of their supplies. We've been planning this one for right after Canakee Lane, but then I asked uh, my girlfriend's quilt shop if they would prepare a fabric kit for us. And so now everybody wants the fabric kit. And so we're just gonna give them a little time to get those in. So on the fabric, I wanted to mention, is on the USB stick that is included in the essential set, you have to have the essential set to be able to do this project with us. We're doing the table runner and the design comes on that USB stick that's in the CBT essential set. You can also get the expansion set. That's for those with a bigger hoop, but there's no design files on this. They're all on the essential set. So you have to get this essential set um, either way. All right, so on that USB, there is this um, list of the fabrics that we need and what sizes they are. And there's one other thing that I want to point out real quick. There's an error on this uh, materials needed. It says that we need fusible peel and stick. We don't. We just need project batting. That's it. No other stabilizer. Um, actually, I'm sorry. Wrong about that. Uh, we need the ultra light uh, mesh cutaway stabilizer. That's for our hoop. So in our hoop, when we're um, putting these, let me grab it. Sorry. <laughs> so um, this is the ultra light mesh cutaway. So we do want this for in our hoop, but then when we do our quilting, all we need is the project batting. We don't need this peel and stick. That was an error. So that's one thing. The other thing is the fabric. So you can use fabrics from your stash. You can use fabrics that are um, the Kimberbell Basics. So that's what they show. And when you're looking at the instructions, they show a uh, winter, fall, um, Halloween. There's a few different ones um, and they use Kimberbell Basics for all that. So you, if you have Kimberbell Basics, you can use that. Or like I said, I asked my girlfriend's quilt shop if they would create a fabric kit for us and they made two. They made a Christmas one with really cute fabrics. Um, I was really surprised actually when I saw that there's even Jingle All The Way fabrics in that. So that's super cute if you wanna make a Christmas one. If you want to make um, a winter one, cause we are gonna start either pretty close to Christmas or possibly even after Christmas, depending on when everyone's ready. Um, but it, winter, you know, we could use up until the spring. So. The winter kit keeps selling out, so just know that we're working on it or I've been in contact with my girlfriend's quilt shop whenever it sells out and they're jumping on it. They're doing such a great job taking care of us. So don't stress if it's sold out, just give it a minute, they're working on it. So when you get the kit, if you get the winter one, that's what I got. So the winter kit has all these blues and some white and some red. Um, so on this one, I received it and I was pretty confused, <laughs> I have to say. This is my first time getting a fabric kit, kit from my girlfriend's quilt shop and it just comes in this really cute packaging um, and tells you what it is. So I was confused as far as, well, what goes with what? How, what, which one do I use for this? Which one do I use for that? And it doesn't say in the fabric kit and it also doesn't say on the directions from Kimberbell. And that makes sense because um, you can use whatever you want, right? So what I figured out, and it, it took me a minute <laughs> to figure it out, so I thought I'd share this. So when you get your fabric kit, if you get a fabric kit from My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop, they are our sponsor. So um, if you get any of the products for this project, please use our sponsor. 
And so on this, you just get the fabric. But what I did is I went through and I measured each one and I wrote a little note, um, like it says half yard. Um, and then I just measured each one from, from the start, just measure each one. Well, you won't have to, if you're using the same one as me, I already did this for you. But, um, if you're using another one and you get just this pack of fabrics, it's really easy to figure out. It took me a minute, but it is easy. So I started by measuring each one and I put, I used my Kimberbell tape to write on there, um, what, uh, what size it is. And then when you go to your Kimberbell directions, this is the one that comes in the directions. I changed mine up a little bit and I will share this as well. So when you go, when you look through the Kimberbell directions, you need 11 different fabrics. And like I said, I'll share all of this. Don't worry. But fabric one is a half of a yard. Fabric two is a quarter of a yard. Fabric three is a fat 16th. So that's how I figured out how to know which ones I'm supposed to use for which. And it totally made sense then because I knew if my number one is a half a yard, I have two of these half yards and one of them is for all the backgrounds. So the backgrounds of the houses, the backgrounds of the trees, the plain blocks, um, all of the backgrounds. So it seemed really obvious to me that they chose this really cute um, blue with white dots that looks like snow. And like they're just kind of all over. So, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I think this is so fun for our background. So I wrote on it, it's a half a yard and I'm using it for number one background. All right, and then our other half a yard, there's another half a yard. And if you look on the Kimberbell directions, that other half yard is for the back. So easy, back fabric, this is great for that. Um, so I was, I was pretty happy that I figured out um, their plan and their plan, I was really happy with all the fabrics. Like you just get all these fabrics and you're like, um, what goes with what? But the way that once you figure it out, it's pretty darn cute to see it all come together. So the next one is a quarter yard for fabric two. And that one says it's for border pieces. So all of those borders around the table runner. So obviously, I, well not obviously, but I chose, you get two. So there's two quarter yard, um, one so it's either or and it's totally up to you use what you want to use But I decided on this really cute snowflakes for the border and I think that's probably what my girlfriend's quilt shop had in mind But who knows? <laughs> so I wrote on it a quarter yard and I'm using it for number two borders All right, and then there's another quarter yard like I mentioned and the other quarter yard Let me see if I remember the other quarter yard is for the binding so for the binding how perfect is this so imagine so this it's a navy with those white dots and then our background is the light blue with the white dots like snow so how cute is this for the binding so perfect all right and then we have the next biggest one is um a fat eighth i think it was yeah the fat eighth so a fat eighth and I had to Google what all of these sizes are because I'm not a sewer. I, I don't know off the top of my head. So I figured out that a fat eighth is nine by 21 and that's what this white with gray dots is. So I knew that this meant that this is supposed to be my fabric four. So fabric four is for the trees. So think of these cute little houses, which we haven't even gotten to the houses yet, but we you saw the background, you saw the borders, you saw the binding. So white with gray dots for the trees, I think that will be so cute and so wintry. So number four, this white with gray dots is the trees. And again, you can use whatever fabrics that you want, but if you get this winter bundle, I've already figured out, figured out what is what. All right, and then lastly, is the fat 16th and you get six of them six different fat 16th and then it says that one of the fat 16th is for the border corners and then all the rest are for the house pieces fabrics five through nine fat 16th are for the house pieces so what i decided and again totally optional but all of these are fat 16 and one is for the corners and all the rest are for the houses. So it seemed kind of obvious to me. And again, do what works for you. But I thought that this red would be really cute as the corners because that is a very different color than all these others. 
and that will be really nice with our borders. So think about how cute is that, right? So that was my plan. So one of them is for number three, fabric number three, and it's for the corner. So I wrote it on there, um, fat 16th number three corners. All right, and then all the rest are house pieces. And look, you can see that they all kind of go together. They're all different blues. I think that will be so cute for a winter table runner. This will be really cute. So I wrote on it, fat 16th, number five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and for the houses. So that's how I organized mine and how I figured out what is supposed to go with what. The key is just to remember the size. So if you got like the Christmas kit, I didn't get that one, so I didn't already figure it out for you. But again, super easy once you realize to just go by the size. So a half a yard, you know, is fabric one, um, and the other half a yard is for fabric 11. Is that right? No, that's, sorry, fabric 10 for the backing. So just go by the size of the fabric that you receive, and then you'll see how it works. And again, I will share this. This is my adjustment to it. As you can see, I added the size that they are because I needed that information um, and then what um, I'm using it for. So I did that. That goes along with all of these. And then I made a note that we are not using that peel and stick. Um, this was an error and we are just using project batting. So just some helpful information as we prepare. So once you get all these, I haven't started the next step, but the next step would be to cut them all. So we would cut them according to the directions that are in Kimberbell. It says right here, all of the different sizes that we need. Am I pointing to the right area? Yeah, all the different sizes. So like within a fat 16th, say that we're gonna do a house piece, it's three by three. So all of that information is here and again i will share this and we'll start preparing them and one other thing is you don't need to back all of these with fusible stabilizer and i'll tell you it's hard for me not to do that <laughs> i really want to but um, that's just me really liking to make sure everything's super duper stabilized but if you think about it this is one of those projects where you just flip it over you place it and flip it over and the only stitching is this one little line to hold it in place so it we don't have to Kristen calm down it's all right we don't have to stabilize it so um, later after we finish our table runner and get all the pieces down then we are going to put our project batting in and we are going to quilt it and so that will be our stabilizer and and they say that that's all we need <laughs> so I'm gonna do that um, so that's it just start preparing your fabrics when you get your fabrics um, if you're still ordering from my girlfriend's quilt shop there's time we've decided to push the project out don't worry in fact, I'm going to take a little trip to California and go for some bike rides. So you've got time. Get your orders in from my girlfriend's quilt shop. And they're doing a great job staying on top of getting our orders um, shipped. So it's not a problem. And I think that's it. Just start getting your supplies. Make sure you've got your clear blue tiles because the design is on that. And um, I think those sold out this morning also. But um, they're, they're working on it. Don't worry. So, and get your fabric. So either, like I said, from your stash or Kimberbell Basics or um, one of the fun kits that my girlfriend's quilt shop made for us. All right, let's get started. Getting ready to get started. <laughs> mm -hmm. 